Hola, ¿qué tal? Seguimos con estos uno contra uno. Y es que ahora tenemos un enfrentamiento muy, pero que muy interesante. Su, su aventura, perdón, el año pasado acabó muy pronto. Y este año quiere demostrar que puede llegar hasta la final. Es Thief. Y en el equipo fuego, el auténtico terror de la top lane, el doble MVP de la LCK, es Mep. <laughs> Buena suerte, caballeros. I like it, the vocal variety. Don't oh. give us the same thing every time. <laughs> oh, I feel it, I feel myself build up. I'm like, yeah, here comes the moment. And it's just going to make me love it more later. I know it. I'm going to be I honest. I feel a little teased right now. Yep. I expected more <laughs> of that intro. Poor Ziv got like a lukewarm applause from the crowd. So he needs to show him what he's got. Yeah. And I mean, Ziv has always been kind of underrated. He actually has the nickname Supernova because he came into the scene and he just blew past everybody in the standings. Got an MVP for himself. Like, absolutely insane that this guy came on and really changed a lot of the LMS region in terms of the top lane. He has been the strongest player in that role for a good while now. Definitely so. No Nasus. That's what I'm hoping for. No Susan, man. Oh well. We haven't seen it. Last year it was uh, Froggen to actually bring it out, I believe. It still holds up and it's actually a little bit better than it was then. Yeah, Froggen wasn't afraid to go for the 100 CS games. I feel like that's the way to win 1v1s though, but it feels like an insult to the crowd. Yeah, it's actually interesting because 100 CS is like the chess game, right? And, but it's boring to watch. It'll take six hours, and then you come back to it. People like get up from the board and walk away, and then they come back. But it's way more entertaining if people go for quad, especially in like the games we've been seeing today so far. It's like the equivalent of Monopoly, basically ruins families, but it gets <laughs> the victory. Mario Kart 64. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Ben. Sorry, childhood bro. Childhood uh, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ooh, that's locked in, right? No, it's not. It has the green border around. Oh, they're it right still now, hovering. So. Still the hover. I but would like to see a Yasuo mirror match. That would be actually pretty dope. Yasuo is so much fun in 1v1s. It's such a great champion as well to play around with the minion wave. That's one of the champions that I really respect players who play Riven and Yasuo and are one tricks. Even Fiora as well, because if you make whoa, one Whoa, 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 hey, hang on. Well, you respect Riven I, one tricks? I do, actually. Do you know how hard it is to execute on that champion? No! People tell me the combos and I still can't do them. But you can face roll and still win on that champion. Yeah, but I'm just saying, the people who one trick it and they have the animation canceling and all that, but everything we've said is completely irrelevant. Because <laughs> we talked about hovers, we did it, damn it, Crepo! <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Never talked about hovers. <laughs> Alright, Varus, we saw it yesterday. Um, again, that's a lane control pick. Kites really well, but has no gap calls. I actually think this might be a really good matchup for Darius. Yeah. It's interesting because he can't actually get away like an Ezreal could have. But Smeb, I think I know who Rainover was playing. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is way too similar. They've actually they were teammates. A lot. They were yeah. teammates back in the day. Incredible. I think they're actually rooming together here at uh, All Stars as well from some uh, pictures that I've seen on Twitter. So they've definitely been uh, bonding a little bit and talking about you know their experience. And obviously everybody's talking about the one v one. Oh yeah. But uh, going back a little bit on like Smeb's history with Rainover, like they were called the Incredible Failures. They came in. It was a team that people were like, "Oh, these guys really suck." It's like worst top laner that they had ever really seen in that scene. And then boom, soon as they start all getting scattered off to the the four wins and all that, boom, come back. Hey, these guys are great. Turns Number out, one on the 2016 Worlds list. Turns out Smeb is pretty good at League of Legends. Yeah, it, sometimes it just takes some time, you know. Once you end up getting a player who has the mechanical ability and the decision making, you refine all of that. You kind of shape how they actually uh, get to those decisions and those uh, Cool. But in this game, looks like it was Darius. I think it's actually a really solid pick against a, a, a low mobility or no mobility AD carry because yeah. we saw what happened in the last game. Once that Darius got close to Reckless, the damage he can do is quite severe. It's up to Ziff to really space out his summoner spell usage. Yeah, he can't use both. And we're seeing a lot of people not actually go for barrier here, which is so, so shocking that you would go for something like an Ignite. I understand that you do want to cut the Darius healing a bit, but it still just seems so risky. Yeah, Ziv is running pure standard 80 marksman pages with the Warlord. So nothing out of the ordinary, the ordinary right there. We'll standard for 1v1? Real quick. Okay. Uh, standard for 1v1, I assume. Good. Yeah, no standard just for like even uh, oh, even 5v5, just 14% attack speed. Like no, no MR, I guess he cycled it out for something else, obviously, but... Haven't really been running that too much. No. 
most lanes either. So yeah, Smeb again playing from the brush. Wants to maximize the AoE on the creeps. Div obviously looking for that trading pattern. A couple of autos later on with the E is what you're looking for. Yeah, Varus is so strong in 1v1s because of the fact that his Blighted Quiver just gives him extra damage. It's like 400 gold worth of combat stats because it's 10 damage on hit. And then you just stack it up for even more uh, when you cast a spell. But also when you kill a minion, free combat stats from attack speed, right? Yeah, definitely so. We're looking at Smeb right now. His runes, he's actually have or is running rod a cooldown reduction on these glyphs, so flat CDR. And for the rest, he's filled it out with just pure armor and pure physical damage, as expected, you know, just pure all-in stats. You don't need anything else. You don't need mana regen or any shenanigans like that. Oh. It's interesting to see how many people had actually practiced the 1v1, because the towers actually do a different amount of damage than yep. the minions. Leaves you, it's really awkward lost sitting on a turret, <laughs> so if you can park the wave in front, it's the best. Now Ziv kind of parked it in front and is going to bounce the wave. It makes it really hard for Smep. Smep is running fervor, so no Thunder Lords here. Yep, and you would want control right about now if, if you were Smeb to actually push up because the Relic's about to spawn and you're able to actually get Ziv out of the wave, but it's not going to happen there. Ziv's going to hit level 3 and he's actually going to get complete control too. Yeah, Smeb always wants to dash in and out of those brushes. They're relatively even on experience. I guess he's going for the level 6 here. He's going to he's gonna learn from Rainover's mistakes. Definitely not a bad trade here. Proximity trade. That, that's 5 back too. He gets all that AD. He used both summoners, and Ziv still had the exhaust, though. Yeah, that's actually really well played by Ziv, holding the exhaust, baiting him, because Smeb, a worse player, would have went for that. He's going in again. Just wants some sustain here. Yeah, he's going to try to stack that up. Get those bleeds going. But now he's pushed in. He's already 6 CS down. He can get a little bit under this turret. Yep, out of stacks, too, on his uh, Corrupting Potion. There's one more Relic on the map all the way down for Ziv, I believe. Mm -hmm. But he wouldn't have to walk very far to go and get that one. Gonna just try to bait some mana out of Ziv. Good sidestep. One hit. Right, good CSing. Gets one. Pulls him under turret. Hurt. Oh, Ziv is over. dead. Low mobility, he carry. <laughs> well, at least we walked away today with a lesson. Playing against Darius. Don't walk close to the turret. It's not every day you have a Darius underneath the turret, especially in the top lane normally. He's shoving you in early. But, oh man, taking that extra turret shot costs Ziv. He had the exhaust, so he was a little bit more confident than he should have been. That hurts. It does. Patience. Hey, I was talking about one misstep, and then you're dead. That's exactly what it takes, too. He's so happy that he's poking outside of the third range. <laughs> he forgets that this guy literally has a grab that moves you, and he actually gets minion block for the second shot. Oh. Well. Adding insult. To me. <laughs> Even the rest, like, come on, bro. Yup. <laughs> I had that. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in. And I've seen that horse play. He's really bad at League of Legends. Oh. <laughs> nice. And he had that. <laughs> oh, man. He was a, he's been a ref for a very long time. Yeah. But don't want to go completely off topic. Smeb. Oh. Actually, bringing one up for fire. <laughs> yep. Fire a little bit behind right now. Need some victories. Yeah. Yesterday, it was four and three in favor of Ice making it through. Uh, and there's one player from each side that already has a buy. So we're looking at five and four. And so two more from Ice got added on. So seven are through for Ice. And so far, we have five from but Fire. But we still now. have Faker coming. Yep. Um, we have Bray yep. still playing. So we can automatically kind of slot them into the next round. So it's looking <laughs> pretty even if everything goes as projected. But you never know. Faker may forget that Darius can pull you on a turret and die. Even the best players do, right? These are professional players. And that just happened to him. Yeah, that wasn't too great. Nope. But yeah, hoping for some more variety to Darius's game right now in a row. Um, I'm also probably mispronouncing it, and everybody's just spamming Darius in chat right now. Happens every time Darius. I Darius? Yeah. <laughs> so hoping a different champion happens there. Oh, um, now you just like blew my mind. Is it Darius? Darius? It's over. Uh, I'm, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. So I'm done. So <laughs> Heimerdinger. Have you seen some Heimerdinger? One v one. No. I think it can actually be okay. Mm, it depends on who you're against for sure. If you play like Exhaust Barry Heimerdinger and you get control of the wave, I don't think yeah, you're I, that hard. I, th I think you win in CS. Yeah. You just, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you're playing Heimer. Yeah. Not gonna go all. Oh up. no! Go for the Heimer kills, man. You have to go for them. Although level six all ins are decent on the champion, people if don't get the really stun? know how much damage he does. Yeah, if you get the stun RW, they're gone. Definitely a combo we can do. Maple is set up on stage right now. We see Soa setting up here. So I think we're getting ready for uh, more 1v1s. Yep, absolutely. And we are actually ready to go over and try to intro who these guys are. Let's see.